everyone. All right. So, all right. Hello. All right. So this is the 2023 planner. This is the ADHD planner. I will link the shop down below. This is a planner review for you guys. Um, this is on Etsy. If you guys want to snag it, that's where I snagged it. And let's go through it. So if you go over to, from the cover, you will see there is, which I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. There is a lot to this planner. Um, I think this is a very detailed, interesting planner because there is so much to it. So let's get started. Yearly pages here. We've got calendar, passwords, important dates, finances, yearly overview, subscription, saving tracker, debt payment, Habits, habit tracker, mood tracker, symptom tracker, wellness, five minute journal, level wheel, two of 10, daily routine, list plans, sticky notes, vision board, stickers, and widgets. And then down below here, you will see all the note papers that she has. Blank, um, let's go here. Blank, Cornell, dotted, grid, narrow, and wide. Isn't that incredible? crazy how much is in this all right let's get started so in this is custom sections so if you click one of this this is the custom section bam you're in there okay go back to this little lines and it'll take you to your index so if we click yearly pages here's your yearly calendar um then we go over here and we've got important dates and passwords. If you click January, it'll take you straight to your month. And in the month, you've got your month, notes, and this month. Um, and then when you click your day, let's just go to number two. Here is your um, Monday 2nd, 2023. You've got a whole scheduling time thing here. You have a goal of the day. You have um, where it's got horizontal, vertical, and blank. Um, daily alarms, checklist, around the house, mood, thoughts, today, tomorrow, this week, listening to, an emoji of the day. Now, if we go and we click... There we go. If we click the, the horizontal, this is what it's going to give you how exactly this is. And this is the weekly task, to-do list, notes, and then you've got your days. And it's in like a grid type. And you've got type, top priorities right there. Now if you click vertical, this is what it's gonna give you. It's gonna give you the schedule layout. The schedule layout right here, you've got how the schedule is all the way um, you know, six to midnight. Of course, you can change that by taking your, here's a tip, take your little, um, pen here, click the color that this is, and then all you have to do is color in that little thing and then write in your number or use a sticker or whatever and do it that way too. There we go. And then that's a little way you can like erase something if you want to erase something out of these planners or if you want to add in whatever you want to do there. All right, so then we're going to go in, we've got blank. If we click blank, it's going to be a blank paper so that you can make your own type of planner. You could take stickers, you could do whatever. Um, let's go back over here to horizontal, and then there we go. We'll go to the month. All right, so then, We've got, uh, the month, you will see, you will see, this has the little, um, oh, what are they? Little shortcuts here, basically. So, if you click the money one, it'll take you to January finances on this one right here. Um, and if you click the money one on here, it'll take you straight to yearly finances. So, let's go back over to January. Okay, and then if you click this little pencil, it'll take you to notes. If you click the little scissors, it'll take you to the sticker collection. Go back over to January. Let's go back to index. All right, then we've got 
how okay we got passwords here is your password file here you've got website username email and password okay and then let's go to three again then we've got important dates and this is where you important your birthdays events whatever okay then we go over here to finances here's your yearly finances which i've showed you yearly overview your yearly well i just did that okay um subscriptions which is you know you could easily um if you are a youtuber you could definitely go in and change this a little bit um, with playing like subscribers or something and like edit it some of whatever you need um, That's what I like about digital planners and stuff that you can just like color it all in You can kind of change it up a little bit and to kind of um, still use their planner But also add in your little bit of needs and stuff that you need in there um, I love that about it savings tracker. Here's your savings tracker um, You've got a little jar here this is what it looks like. We've got debt payments. So if you have debt, you've got that. Habits. Here's your habit tracker. And you've got a habit tracker where daily goal, fitness daily goal, medication daily goal, uh, uh, sleep tracker, dreams energy, um, habits, which of course you can write down whatever habits you have. All right, then we've got what you've already seen habit tracker the mood tracker and this is your mood tracker you can track your mood key mood trigger um, and then you can mood ideas it gives you so if you feel focused and neutral tired whatever okay you track that then you've got symptom tracker and this is symptoms in case you're sick or whatever um let's go over here you've got wellness and this is your five minute journal so in your five minute journal quote of the day what would make today great daily affirmations how do i feel today what made today beautiful three amazing things that happened today and three things I'm looking forward to tomorrow love that I think it's adorable little journal there level wheel of 10 so you've got the level wheel finances career you know you can color all that in and stuff to see um, your uh, scheduling layout type of thing daily routine Here's your daily routines. You can put down morning routine, your health and wellness routine, self-care, and evening and night. Okay. Then we get down here to um, the list. So all the to-do list type of thing. Um, write down your to-do list, grocery list, whatever. Sticky notes. Here's your sticky notes. If you want to go in and go and get those sticky notes there's sticky notes here where you can write whatever um also i think there's a way is it this one no okay thought there was one it's fine all right so then after sticky notes let's go over here oh that's what i learned all right, and then we'll go over to vision board. Here's your vision board. If you guys know anything about a vision board, um, you know, there's that. If you don't, you might want to look up different things. Stickers. Here's your sticker collection thing. So you can collective, um, for example, let's just grab this one. Okay, let's just put this one here. That way, there it is. That way I can go back and get it from here and just take it over to whatever page. Okay? We can go over a sticker video later on if you guys want. If you want to um, know how I get all my stickers and also how I put all my stickers in there and how I folder them, whatever, let me know in the comments so I know I do a video. 
Here are widgets, and you can put your widgets and stuff like that in here too. And then here are how the papers are. So there's this one, this one, this one, this, this, and this. So you've got all these, and then like I said, you've got your custom section, so this would be custom one, and then, you know, you'd go through and all that kind of stuff. You'd make your own little custom area. Okay? Like I said, if you click over here, it'll take you also to-do list, your notes, and vision board, calendar, well, yearly calendar, yearly expense, uh, habit tracker, and five minute journal. And that was the 2023 20, planner with the ADHD planner. And like I said, it will be down below in the description. If you guys have any questions, please comment them down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.